We're going to start with the serenity prayer, and then we'll go into the daily reflections. If you or someone you know are questioning yourselves about whether or not you're an alcoholic or whether they are an alcoholic or drug addict, reach out. We can help you. You don't have to do it alone. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. September 3rd, Building a New Life. We feel a man is unthinking when he says sobriety is enough. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 82. When I reflect on step nine, I see that physical sobriety must be enough for me. I need to remember the hopelessness I felt before I found sobriety and how I was willing to go to any lengths for it. Physical sobriety is not enough for those around me. However, since I must see that God's gift is used to build a new life for my family and loved ones, just as importantly, I must be available to help others who want the AA way of life. I ask God to help me share the gift of sobriety so that its benefits may be shown to those I know and love. He is like the farmer who came up out of the cyclone cellar to find his home ruined. To his wife he remarked, Don't see anything the matter here, Ma. Ain't it grand the wind stopped blowing? Just because we stopped getting drunk doesn't erase the past mayhem we caused. We cannot expect to live a life of substance without addressing our past wrongs. Our old way was to hope everyone would forget and we could act like nothing ever happened. Problem is, then we drink again. Today we address things head on, face to face, when appropriate with the guidance of our sponsor. Sometimes it will create more harm to others, so we make amends in some other way as to avoid that. There is a long period of reconstruction ahead. We must take the lead. A remorseful mumbling that we are sorry won't fit the bill at all. So we clean house with the family, asking each morning in meditation that our Creator show us the way of patience, tolerance, kindness, and love. The spiritual life is not a theory. We have to live it. Our behavior will convince them more than our words. We must remember that 10 or 20 years of drunkenness would make a skeptic out of anyone. Others see the real changes in us, our new attitude toward life, and our family and friends grow tighter as we are getting healthier. Recovered alcoholics in AA know we are sober today because we found our higher power and our idea of sobriety is not the mere absence of booze. It means we live lives that are happy, joyous, and free. We have a higher power that we feel His presence. We try to understand what God's will is and do our best to live accordingly and by thinking of how we can help others. We will go to any lengths to keep what we were freely given. It is a small price to pay for what we have received. A bargain at twice the price. September 3rd, building a new life. We feel a man is unthinking when he says sobriety is enough. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 82. When I reflect on step nine, I see that physical sobriety must be enough for me. I need to remember the hopelessness I felt before I found sobriety and how I was willing to go to any lengths for it. Physical sobriety is not enough for those around me. However, since I must see that God's gift is used to build a new life for my family and loved ones, just as importantly, I must be available to help others who want the AA way of life. I ask God to help me share the gift of sobriety so that its benefits may be shown to those I know and love. Carpe the diem, boys and girls. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.